guys, it's Ollie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know that it's a little bit weird that I'm in my kitchen right now, but we are doing a lot of work on the rest of the house and this is just the most convenient place to do it. So I'm here. <laughs> so today's video is going to be all about a snail's diet. It's an in-depth diet video, as in-depth as I could get. So it's a lot. But this is what you guys voted for, so let's just get right into it. A couple of disclaimers, of course, because it is a snail video. This video is strictly for garden snails. Um, I am based in the US, so I can't do anything with uh, giant African land snails. And I don't have enough knowledge on aquatic snails to give you any information. So this is just garden snails, just common garden snails. Disclaimer number two is this is not going to apply to every garden snail. I know that's super confusing, but there are other snails that have more specialty diets. For example, the rosy wolf snail is carnivorous, so this diet does not work for that snail. There are also snails that are just herbivorous and they don't need um, like the proteins and stuff like that. So make sure this will fit your snail. This will work for most land snails unless they are carnivorous or strictly herbivorous. Number three is that I am not an expert. I keep these guys as a hobby and I find it very fun to learn about them and to share that information with other people. And of course, always, 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 don't just look at one source for your information. You want to go to different sources for your information. Just none of us know everything. Now that those are all out of the way, let's finally get into the video. So garden snails have a surprisingly complex and special diet. Most people pick up a garden snail and they can just feed it some lettuce and it'll be fine. And that's not really the case. Garden snails need their fruits and veggies. They need protein and they need calcium. You are also going to want to give your snails variety when you feed them to not only keep them interested in their food, but garden snails have a habit of becoming picky about their food. So if you just feed your garden snail, I don't know, beets or something, it could get to the point where they will only eat beets and you don't want that. That will not make a healthy snail. The healthiest snail will have a varied diet. So about 50 to 70% of a snail's diet should be fruits and veggies, mostly veggies, and about 10% fruit, I think. So you're going to want to give your garden snail fresh vegetables every other day. You're going to want to rinse them off relatively well and make sure that you are giving them organic to avoid pesticides. Remember that snails are considered pests and pesticides are going to kill them. So you do not want to give them anything that might have a good amount of like pesticides on it. So just try to get organic and rinse it off maybe even peel if you need to. Um, I know I do because I'm a little anxious about it. So that kind of stuff is definitely recommended whenever you feed your snail their veg. You are going to want to change out your snail's salad every other day. Sooner is fine if it looks like it might be getting a little bit gross. You can change it out, of course. Uh, things like bell pepper and a lot of fruits will go bad pretty quickly in a humid environment. So just make sure you keep an eye on that. Normally if I feed things like bell peppers or fruit, I kind of feed them outside of the enclosure and let them get their fill and then put them back in with like some greens or something. But I usually don't leave the peppers and the fruit in there because it does go bad pretty quickly and it does attract pests. So some good staples are things like leafy greens and root vegetables. Like dandelion greens are a big one turnip greens, stuff like that. Root vegetables are also really good for snails, so think carrots and beets. Those are pretty good as well. Um, white potato is controversial. I will let you know right now. Sweet potato seems fine. White potato, I don't know. Whenever I first started the hobby, it was a big no-no, and now more people are feeding it and giant African land snails can eat it. I'm really not for sure the issue with it. Um, I don't know, just be careful with that one and do your own research. A few other examples of some vegetables would be like, I feed mine squash quite a bit. Uh, broccoli is a pretty decent one. I will be providing a list down below of foods that you can go check out for your snail. There's gonna be two links and some of the things are a little mixed matched on them, but I find them both useful. So I will be linking them both in the description below. Things like lettuce, especially iceberg lettuce, especially iceberg lettuce and cucumber 
should not be given very often at all. Um, you can give them small amounts and you can offer cucumber as like a little treat or to hydrate them in the summertime or if it's really hot. But um, overall, they're not very nutritionally valuable and it, they can kind of get addicted to it in a way. So a lot of snails issue with cucumber is that they'll start only eating cucumber. Um, they will gorge themselves on it. It's a very known issue with most snails. So keep that in mind. Definitely avoid things in the onion family, avoid any salt, of course, and avoid things that are processed like bread and pasta. These things can be pretty detrimental and toxic to snails. As far as fruits go, I would feed that in moderation. Only 10% of their diet should be fruits. I would just recommend maybe once every two weeks would be a decent amount of fruit for them. And again, the list of fruits, things like blueberries they can eat, uh, mango, stuff like that. All that'll be in that link in the description below for you to go check out. So that's pretty much the in-depth for the vegetables and the fruits. Now, protein is a big one. Protein's one that was relatively recently found out to be pretty beneficial for garden snails. Most garden snails don't need as much protein as their cousins, the giant African land snails. However, they still do need protein. They still do eat things in the wild like mushrooms and dead bugs and stuff that give them that protein. So in captivity, they still need that protein. For garden snails, they should be getting about 40% of protein once a week in their diets. Um, I have a video that is completely in-depth on the protein thing because I found it extremely confusing whenever I started. I will put that somewhere up here for you to go check out after this. Um, I will also link in the description below, put it on the end card, all that. So if you have anything you want to know about the protein, it's probably in that video. And if your question is not answered, just comment it down below. Okay, so let's go on to calcium. Calcium is a big one as well that people don't seem to really realize at first that snails need it. But once you're in snail keeping, you know about calcium. So calcium is important for a snail's diet because that is what their shell is made of. And snails will need that calcium to maintain their shell health. You want calcium to be in your enclosure at all times. Cuttlefish bone is the best one to give them. Um, you can find it in the bird section at most pet stores and it's pretty easily available online and it's relatively cheap as well. You might want to give it like a good rinse every now and then, but other than that, you just leave that piece of cuddle bone in your enclosure and the snails will just eat on that until it's pretty much gone or there's like a small shell left of it. There is a hard side and a soft side to the cuttlefish bone though, so when you get it, take your thumbnail and press it into the uh, into the cuddle bone and the side that your nail will sink into is the side you want facing up for the snails to eat on because they can't really eat on the harder side. There are some other alternatives to cuttlefish bone. In my opinion, and they are not as good as cuttlefish bone. However, they can still work. So you can get calci cakes Calci cakes are basically uh, calcium powder wet down and molded into some kind of block. You can get this in the reptile section at pet stores. You can also get it online as well. Uh, make sure it doesn't have any D3 or added vitamins or anything. The D3 can be harmful for your snail, so just make sure it is pure calcium. You can also use eggshell. Again, I don't think this is a permanent solution you can do. I definitely think it's not very long term, honestly. Some people also do use things like limestone and antler and bone and stuff. I do not know, honestly. Uh, there's not a ton of people that do that and the research is very limited. So I haven't been able to see any long-term effects of this. So yeah, if you want to play it safe, I would just do the cuttlefish bone. Um, and if you do do antler and stuff like that, Comment down below. I would like to know your experiences and how long you've been doing that and stuff like that because I'm genuinely curious. Now, the big thing about calcium is that it's very, very important for our snails. However, they can overdose on calcium. Too much calcium will kill your snails. Snails will, most of the time, self-regulate their own calcium. So you just put that cuttlefish bone in there, you leave it in, they will eat it as needed. Um, there are certain circumstances where you might need to introduce the calcium into their diet. I would only do that if it is advised by a more experienced keeper, because um, it can it can be very dangerous. 
But other than those very special circumstances, I definitely would not sprinkle calcium on their food. They will eat it separately. They will self-regulate their calcium. All right, guys, well, that is pretty much all I have for you today. I'm really sorry if I missed anything. I tried to get all of my notes together, but this was kind of a big one to tackle, so. I really hope that this was helpful for you in your snail journey or that you at least found it entertaining. Don't forget to go follow me over on Instagram. The link will be down in the description below. I also have an art account where I do digital custom pet pictures. Link is also in the description below. I have a Facebook group as well that we can just share pictures of our pets and ask advice and stuff like that. It is Ollie Exotic Thriving Over Surviving. The link is also in the description below. And of course, as always, don't forget to give this video a like for the algorithm. Comment down below if you have pet snails or if you're going to get some soon. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're into this kind of content or really any animal kind of content. I upload every single Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but you can hit the bell if you don't want to remember that. And as always, I will see you guys next week. Bye.